everybody, it's Crazy Mango Shabby. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be reacting to the fourth episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, what's the episode name? Uh, oh, there's no, there's no title. It's just called Episode Four. Okay, I'm guessing something big's gonna happen in that case. I'm so excited again. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support lately, especially on the last video that I released this morning. Already, people are messaging me, especially on Tumblr and you know, giving me such great support and I'm already feeling so much better and at ease now that I've sort of talked about the stuff. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it's in obviously my channel, um, but for a sweet and short sort of revision of what I said, um, there's no more Aftermath podcasts, um, but if you want to hear all the details on that, you can check that video out. It's only a very short video um, and I'm not going to go into it now because... Oh my god, like, the next episode's here, I'm, I'm hella excited. Um, so, the last time we were left, obviously, on a cliffhanger, um, the fact that Bucky has been in contact with Wakanda, um, I can't remember the soldier's name, who's, who's here, I can't remember her name, I don't want to say it wrong, or I don't want to give the wrong name, um, but I have seen it, like, floating around and people talking about it, and I'm so excited about that. Obviously, we have Zemo on our side, and, you know, we I... <laughs> I love that he's used as sort of like the comedy aspect in this show as well. I didn't expect that, so that was really, really cool to see. Um, and so I'm excited to see what else is in store for him. And also, like, obviously, if the Wakandan, like, sort of like security is here, it means that he is going to take be taken in, maybe. Um, but in a way, from here on out, we're going in blind. We haven't seen anything else, so I'm excited. Um, we are up to episode four, so we have two more episodes until we're finished, which is shocking because it's gone so quick. Um, but anyway, let's jump straight into this because I'm super excited and yeah. Oh. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh shit! What? We're here? What the heck, man? Oh, six years ago! Oh! Oh shit. God damn, what an opening! Whew! It's great. To pay my last respects, do you know where a funeral will be? Ah, Zemo is so smart. He's very good at sort of luring people to tell him stuff without causing violence. Oh shit. Oh, Bucky. Bucky's like pissed. He ain't happy. Hmm. Talking might work. Violence, no. <laughs> My mom's so. Oh no, this is where we're gonna see John like unleashed. I have to agree with what she's saying though. What she's saying is right. Or like, what they're doing is right, but they're just going about it the wrong way. Um, in terms of use of violence and stuff. Do you really want his blood on your hands? No, Bucky, no, don't listen to him. Oh no. I'm not your enemy. I agree with your fight. I just can't give it the way you're fighting it. Mm. Everyone agrees, girl. So this is what that was. No, Carly, Tricking wait. me into your backup for right. No, I think we had enough time to talk. You didn't ask for this. Lovely. Fucking John. Oh. Oh, is Zemo gonna get her? Oh, God. <gasps> oh! Zemo! Oh! 
Oh! Jo oh my god! The little head turn that he just- Oh! This is how he gets the serum! Oh! That head tilt! <laughs> Sam was on the right path with her. He knew exactly how to talk to her, but... Fucking John. Like, he was on to something, and she even agreed, like... Or he even agreed, like, he was saying, you know, like, D I understand your fight. I'm on the same side as you, but this is the wrong way to do it. Ah! Oh, so close, and now, oh, this happens every time. When a relatable enemy and a relatable hero sort of come together. Ah! Oh, there's always someone worse that comes along. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, Ugh. The Nora! Oh, Dora, Dora, Dora! Whoops, not Nora! Yes, Queen! <laughs> He's just gonna hide or leave? Wow. Oh! Nice! <gasps> Shit! Oh, she pissed! Oh my god! right there that's very that's such a cool thing that they twisted the question on Zemo to Sam and now John to I can't remember the friend's name but you know what I mean like that's such an interesting thing to pose that question to because they're two very different people of course Sam said no because he's happy with the way he is he's not interested in gaining power and the same thing with Steve but Steve wanted to just you know get involved and try and help but then he gained those abilities from sort of like that power um, if John gains it, mm-mm, 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 we're gonna see a very dark side to this man, whether it's in this episode or the next two episodes, whoo, it's gonna, hmm. Ah, see, like, yes, like, he has all that stuff, but, like, we've seen, like, I don't think the friend's seeing it, but... He is really bad in terms of temper. He's very impatient. He's very stubborn. So yeah, I don't think this serum's gonna work out well for him. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Oh, the cinematography in this show, I swear, is so good. Oh my god! Whoa. Did you see him flinching? That's so weird. Did he take the serum? Shit, I think he did take the serum. Oh, he did! Yes! Oh, that's a sick move. Oh my god, the action in this show is so good. Oh, Bucky's always got his back. Oh no! Oh! Shit! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! Oh my god! They're actually showing blood! Oh! They went out! Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Oh jeez! What an episode! Wait, let's just check if there's any credit- no, there's no credit scenes. Probably next week. Oh my god! Like that- oh, that- oh, that imagery! Because we've seen the shield in different, like, like in different sort of like um 
not liked, but in different versions of it. So, like, we've had it scratched by, obviously, T'Challa in Civil War. We had it broken by Thanos. But to have it covered in blood is nuts. And, oh, that's crazy. Um, I think one thing I would have liked, I'm sort of sad about it, um, that we didn't actually get to see John take the serum, because it would have been interesting to see him take it on his own, alone, sort of against what the, like, not against what the friend was saying, but, um, like, sort of doing it at his own pace and at his own terms, because we've seen him want to take it, so no matter what anybody says, he was going to take it anyway. Um, I would have liked to have seen it, but it's okay. Um, so Lamar's dead, and that was, that honestly was very unexpected. Like, I, I was thinking he might die, just because there is that one scene where John is on his knees. So I was thinking, like, oh, maybe, like, he doesn't get killed, but maybe he gets really injured to the point where John's, like, really upset, and, you know, he's really mad, and that's when he's thinking about taking the serum. Um, but to see that he actually got killed is nuts. It's really crazy, and just seeing, oh, that last image, though, of John at the end, uh, that, that was, ugh, that was gross. Um, but at the same time, so interesting. So, also, Zemo got away. I, I was thinking he would, and it was so nice to see the Dora Milaje again, and it's also just seeing that whole thing with Bucky, like his, like seeing the first time he had those words spoken to him and he was okay, he was safe. Oh, that was such a throwback to see all those like memories, but also just seeing him sob and break down was just so heartbreaking, but also just like so nice, because imagine the relief he felt, like, you know, oh, that's amazing. I love that they put that in there. Um, going back to John, though, we sort of come back to that sort of, like, talk about icons and, like, what they mean. So, again, this is something I spoke about in the first episode, um, that, you know, icons are important, especially with whoever is perhaps behind the shield. So the shield is an icon. Steve was the first one behind that shield, and he represented hope, goodness, and grace, and everything that is good in the world. Kindness, love. Take that away and put in um, John, a man who was hardened up by war, a man who was, you know, even they said they've done some pretty crazy shit in Afghanistan that was awarded stuff, and he was saying, like, do we really deserve it? Um, so that was an interesting take from him to hear that. But also just, like, the fact that, like, put him again in front of the icon of the shield, it gives a very different story and paints a very different picture. Yeah, he's very different, and he is one of violence, and now that we see it, he's definitely one of darkness, and will go to the point where he has to use violence to the point of killing somebody. And that was, in a way, that was Steve's... Well, I mean, did he... Did Steve kill people? I can't remember, but, like, to, like we never saw him actively kill someone, but, oh, the, I Like, we, we've seen a bit of blood here and there in Marvel, but that was a lot of blood. And they're, they're stepping up the game, and I'm really proud that they are, because, you know, I was talking about this in terms of DC. DC's very dark, and um, there is a video, a conversation about Justice League coming out. Don't worry, I have watched it. It's incredible. Um, but in the case of that, DC and Justice League are very dark comic books, and they need that darkness to work. Marvel, in the sense, has a lot of fun-loving stuff, but it also, in different parts of it is very dark. This is like, whoa, I did not expect this. But this episode, I keep saying it with every episode that goes past, this was my favorite. I loved it. The pacing was great. Having Zemo there again was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed the action. Very much that Winter Soldier movie sort of choreography that I loved. And I loved like the different transitions, especially that one fight between John and the flag smash. Yeah, this episode is so good. Um, I will say also I loved the sort of like talk between Sam and Carly. Loved that. That was great to see that. And just that communication. Like Sam is opening up and trying to find sort of like that connection with her. I was really happy about that and I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I can't wait to see if we actually get to speak to Carly again. I hope she doesn't die. She's a very interesting character. So I would love to see her again 
well obviously we will see her again but I hope she doesn't die because she's very cool very interesting and yeah oh that's so good so technically the next episode we are going in blind this was I just remember there were a few scenes from the trailers in this particular episode so I think we're going in blind next episode so that was pretty cool and I cannot wait to see what else is in store for us in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching this I hope you guys enjoyed it please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on the fourth episode of uh, I was about to say Captain America, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So this episode was called episode 4, there's no title for it. Um, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a secret title or something I'm guessing, or maybe they just didn't title it yet. Sometimes they do that. Oh no, now, now, oh that's a perfect title, the title just got updated. The whole world is watching. That's great, I love that, I love that, I love that. Oh, just everything about this episode was so good, and especially that end part. And this is the thing, I think John doesn't understand this. Steve knew it, but John, I think only in that moment, well, I mean, he's a little bit delusional now because of the serum and just full of anger, but um, I don't think he understands how much the world is watching him now, more than ever, and it's, oh, that last image again, I was like, they're not going to show it, they're not going to show it full splattered with blood, but they did. That's balls for Marvel, so yeah, I'm really really proud of them for doing that it's a, it's another step into more mature things like yes you know kids you know parents need to be with their kids when watching it you know what I mean but at the same time I'm glad that they're sort of swimming into this territory and having a look at it it's really cool so I'm glad and I cannot wait for the next episode it's gonna be so good so again thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next episode crazy finger out Woo!